Jacksonville police say a truck driver used this gun to shoot two people at a truck stop in Baldwin, killing one of them. Investigators now confirm this was a case of workplace violence. The suspected gunman has been identified as 56-year-old Leroy Edwards, an employee of Rinaldo Enterprises, a trucking company. Police shot Edwards during a gun battle on I-10, and he was critically wounded. Investigators say this is the damage Edwards caused to police cruisers when he was firing at officers. But today we learned this is the man who was killed at the truck stop, 58-year-old Todd Phillips. He also worked at Renato Enterprises. We still do not know what led up to the shooting, though. News 4 Jacks reporter Zach Lajway spoke to lifelong friends of Phillips, and Zach joins us live with how they're remembering him. Zach. Mary, a lot of tears today from a lot of people who say their friend was taken too soon. Among those tears, memories from their childhood. We was down to the river every day, just fishing, having fun. That's why we call ourselves River Rats. Macy Brock recalling his childhood days spent with Todd Phillips and other boys of the Ken Knight neighborhood. We came up like that, yeah, right out here when Ken Knight was beautiful. As you can see, this is not the same two fish from last week. Some it's things never change. Day. Decades later, Phillips still loved to fish. That is hurting everybody right now. I mean, I can't none of us believe that because he was just too nice of a guy. How long have you known Todd Phillips for? About 50 years. 50 years. <laughs> yeah, 50 years. Yeah. Me to go fishing, hunting. We do it all. You know, he was a real good guy. You're going to miss him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Friends say Phillips was killed at this pilot travel center on US 301 just off Interstate 10 in Baldwin Thursday. They don't know why. That's bad. It's real bad, and that's just hurt. I mean, it's hurting all of us because he was just too good of a guy to go out like that, and he ain't done nothing wrong. I'm quite sure he didn't do nothing wrong. He was just doing his job. Make sure you use both hands. Always be safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to miss him, though. All of us going to miss him, especially out here because this is where we was raised at. Phillips leaves behind a wife and a family. We will hear more from loved ones coming up at 6. I also want to mention I reached out to the Pilot Travel Center today. They hung up the phone on me. In Ken Knight, I'm Zach Lasry, Channel 4, the local station. Zach, how about the trucking company? Any response from them about all of this? Tom, I reached out to them today. They said they have no comment. As you know, I stopped by that facility yesterday. That's when they told me the whole incident was tragic and then asked us to leave. Zach Lajway reporting to us live. Thank you, Zach.